Welcome to CivilNet. My guest today is Mr. Antranik Bardasarian, who is the newly elected president of the Armenia Fund of the Western United States. And this is, it's true that we're doing this interview after the telethon, but we're doing it after the telethon because Mr. Bardasarian now, as the newly elected president, um, has a huge responsibility. The Western U.S. is where the telethon has been held now for over 15, I think 16 years. And this is the community that is the largest out of Armenia and the community from which uh, there are great expectations. And we're talking about now those great expectations. Mr. Baldassarian Antanik, thank you for joining us on CivilNet. Good morning, thank you. Antanik, please let's talk well, let's, let me introduce you in your, with your other hat first. You are the founder and you own Karun Dairies, which those of us who live or have lived in Southern California know is uh, one of the best cheese and certainly Labney producers. And your production is on a scale that is huge. You and I just did the rough, rough numbers and your production is about 10 times Armenia's production every month. And yet you have now um, added to your hat of businessman, uh, being president of the Armenia Fund, rolling up your sleeves and trying to move this process forward. Tell me what you see as your challenges. Uh, my challenges are not too much because Armenia Fund is a very sound and very good product and it is so uh, so sensitive that all the population that are around in california in southern and western united states all these people they have to have faith that the money is going into the right pro projects that's that's certainly one of the challenges and we have it but we, as, yeah, but, but we, we have it, but we don't know how to sell it, how to show it to the people. And I was elected four months ago, and unfortunately, it was too short for me for this telethon to make a big change. But already, it's a big change. The, the engagement of the Southern California community was visible this time in the telethon. The local funds raised uh, exceeded last year's. Uh, and at the same time, though, people like you, people like me, who are active in trying to improve Armenia diaspora relations, understand that the information gap from here to there is terrible. Do you agree? Uh, all the work that Armenia is doing in Armenia is not s uh, sent to United States uh, in the regular basis and uh, shown to the public on TVs or on on different lectures every week or every month. So all the bad uh, news they come like uh, sky rocket here, but the good news they come very slow. So this is a gap that I'm going to fix. And from January 1, every week, I'm going to talk with my public, show them what we are doing, what are the goals, and what did we achieve, and go on 12 months, and keep them always informed, so that we get more and more Armenians into uh, the basket. One of the things that perhaps is missing, uh, I don't know if you agree or not, is that the idea of institution building is what's missing. That's the beauty of the Armenia Fund, is that it can do infrastructure, it can do institution building, it can do the big things that individual organizations cannot do. But that message is getting lost, no? No, it's not lost, because uh, I proved in the last four and a half months when I was every week two or three times on the TV talking direct, to the public and explaining to them, going to schools, explaining to the students, going into the churches after the church, talking to the public, going to the uh, different political parties and talking to the public. I find out that 
they need the information like I, we need to the food every day for our livelihood. They need that information, and that made a big difference. We do not know. We do not know how to sell what we have. We do not know. Uh, we Armenians, we have been always like this. We, we we are not a show of people, and this is this is one of the problems we have today between Armenia and the diaspora. And one of the good things about somebody coming in new to a process, you've been a donor to the Armenia Fund for four years, you're now the new president. One of the advantages of this is that it's a new outlook and new optimism and new blood because many things happened, have happened in this Armenia diaspora relationship of 22 years that have sometimes caused disappointment, cynicism. Uh, you're coming in new as a businessman who organizes things, starts from the beginning and gets to the outcome at the end. That can only be a good thing for this organization. Yes, but on the other hand, uh, it wasn't vain that 22 years. There was a lot of build-up, there was a lot of uh, things they achieved, the roads, the schools, the hospitals, and they are all great for Armenia and Karapa. So, I, I am I'm not so pessimistic. Uh, I know every work you do, for example, when I do any project, there is always mistakes, there is always a loss of money, but again, uh, you do the job, you learn from it. Now, today, Armenia Fund, with his history, he's already, uh, what you call it, geared up, uh, well-oiled machine, and just get the project and make it done, and I will prove that 93% of every $100 will go to the project. And I know that if not, I wouldn't take this, jo uh, this responsibility on me. Do you find that when you offer people the opportunity to donate to something that is significant, institutional, infrastructural, that they are happy to do it, that they want some sort of engagement? They are, but you need time to go and show them, or you have to explain them, or you have to take them to Armenia. We did a test this year, we took uh, 20, 20 six uh, couples to Armenia in September and we took them all over Armenia and Garapa. We showed them the good and the bad. They came back, they are in love with the country, they all were small donors. One of them uh, with his friends, they collected $45,000 and brought it for this Teleton. But what I'm saying, they don't know the country. They don't know the works that have been done. They don't know the work that needs to be done. We need to show to the people. It's an everyday job to show them the good and what is needed to be fixed so that they, they realize that we have to keep them every week awake and ahead of the projects. This is my my thinking. I don't know. I will try to do this. this is, I believe in this. Well, I know that the people in Armenia need and want that continued, unconditional support from the diaspora. So we look forward to working with you. And uh, it goes without saying that what we try to do with CivilNet is the same thing, to show Armenia the good, the bad, and the hopeful. So thank you very much for giving us time on CivilNet. Yeah, I can only promise that it will be a transparent, complete, and everything will be straightforward. Thank, Thank you again. Thank you. I know that that means a lot to both the donors and the receivers here at this end. Um, Absolutely. Thank you. We've been speaking with Mr. Antonik Baldassarian, who is the newly elected president of the Armenia Fund of the Western United States. Thank you for following us on CivilNet. Mm -hmm.